Hey guys, and welcome back to another vlog. We have something super exciting planned for today. We are going to be going horse shopping. Now, I've wanted to get my own personal horse for a while now, and I am now finally able to do it. I haven't owned my own personal horse since high school, but he's been retired for a few years now. What I'm looking for today is just a younger horse that can walk, trot, canter, and then I would like to be able to put everything else on myself. Uh, breed, height, and color does not matter to me as long as the horse is sound and healthy and is of a personality that I get along with. Now the first horse we're going to be checking out is a mare that is at Golden Leaf Stables and she is a Finn Horse Cross kind of jumping dressage prospect. She looks really promising so I am super excited to try her out. Now right off the bat she did not want to engage in her hind end and she was very behind the bridle but eventually I got her there. She wasn't super willing for me and she would generally just shake her head when she didn't want to do something but that could all be worked with. Going over jumps she felt pretty good especially during trot approaches. She seemed pretty sure of herself, which made me happy. It's when we started cantering, we started having issues. She started refusing, and when she would refuse, she would refuse pretty big. So I really had to use a lot of leg to drive her over jumps at the canter, and she was also chipping in left and right, and overall just did not have a sure stride at the canter. Now, once the trainer that was showing me her raised the jumps, she really just started refusing pretty much everything. Now, normally this wouldn't bother me um, because after all, I do want something I can train and kind of put all the work on to, but it was more just the issue of this is definitely not what was advertised. And the trainer was pretty dodgy about my questions over her history and past with jumping and she didn't really want to talk about much other than just raising the jumps or telling me what gate to approach them at. She also started running out of jumps, which isn't a huge deal again, but it was just the fact that the trainer was not answering any of my questions of if this was a regular thing or if this was just a bad day. And then afterwards, when I inquired about her feet and just maintenance, the trainer pretty much just shut me down and put her away. So. Don't really know what that was all about. Meteor was a good girl, but I think the trainer was definitely trying to hide something. Now the next barn I went to is one I'm very familiar with, and it's the Silver Glade Equestrian Center where I used to intern. And here I'm going to be looking at a Morgan Gelding named River. And I was super excited to look at this guy. He was there during my internship, but I never rode him as one of the other interns was leasing him at the time. But I was super excited to try him out. This guy was super fun to ride. He was very easy to collect into his frame and he came into the bridle super nicely. He definitely was a bit more woe than go and could be pretty lazy at times so I did find myself using quite a bit of leg on him and he was a little bit more finished than I would have liked but honestly he still has quite a bit of training to get under his belt so definitely some room for improvement and other types of training on him. Next, we took him into the jumping ring, which he definitely blew me away. He was super sure of his strides and honestly just had a nice cadence. His really only fault is sometimes he rushed through combos, but that can be very easily fixed. And overall, this little guy just is a powerhouse over jumps. I mean, he just over clears basically every single jump you take him towards. Overall, I really liked this little guy. He had such a sweet and quiet personality, and I will be definitely keeping him on my radar. Next up, I went to Dundle, which is actually my hometown. 
And here I would be looking at an American paint gelding named Ranger. Not much was said about this guy other than the fact that he was an all-around prospect. So I was pretty curious to see how he would be. Now I really liked this guy. He was super willing and super focused and pretty much tried everything I asked of him. His owner said he's basically kind of done a little bit of everything. They haven't ever shown him. They just kind of have messed around on him a little bit and basically have just used him for everything. They are selling him because she didn't feel like they were using him to his full potential and so she wanted him to go to a home where he would be the main focus. And everything I threw at this horse, he pretty much took it all in stride. We did some low jumps and some trot pulls, and I basically just wanted to see kind of where his skills were, and he was just super willing and just had a great attitude about it the entire time. Obviously his strides weren't perfect, but he was just super willing to listen and be corrected. This guy overall just has a, such a sweet personality, and he's also a little bit of a snuggle bug, so that's definitely a huge plus. Now the next day, I went down to a family-owned farm to look at an Andalusian gelding named Lucky. Now this guy is definitely very finished and is way out of my price range, but I still wanted to look at him because when do you get the opportunity to ride a fancy Andalusian? His owners were super nice and he was just a charmer and I really hope this guy goes to a home where he will be able to be shown and really just show off his skill set. Now that will be wrapping up all of the horses I'll be looking at, at least this time around. I definitely have a lot of thinking to do as to which horse I would like to put an offer on. And if you guys have any input, feel free to comment down below. And I will see you guys next time, hopefully when I am bringing my new horse companion home. I'm super excited, so I will see you guys next time. Have a marvelous day. Bye!